So in this video, we will talk about this header section. So as you can see, it says your page title. We can simply just click here and we will be able to type something. So let's say this is the homepage of my site. Um, now, as you can see on that section right over here, it is giving you the options of changing the font, changing the font size, or if you want a different color, you can also do that as well. So this is very, very basic feature, I would say, um, that you use to get when you're using your PowerPoint or Word file um, or even Excel file. So that's pretty much what it is. Now, if you want your header to be a little bit different than what it is now, you can simply click here, header type, and then you can click title only. So that's just the name of the title. Or if you want large banner, so that will give you a bit large banner. If you click cover, it will give you even bigger than that. So we're just keeping the banner for now. And once you're done, over here, you can see change image. So if you click here, you can upload image as the background of your header, or you can just select image. So if you click on upload image, you can upload it from your device. Or if you select select image, you can directly upload from the gallery that is already there, or you can provide them an URL. You can search from Google, your albums, or even your Google Drive. So for now, we are just going to select uh, from gallery, let's say this one so it's been added as the background picture over here this is some interesting uh, tools for you so if you click here that says remove readability adjustment what will happen so it will just give you the full experience of the background if you click here again there will be a bit white background just uh, at the back of your title over here Another feature that you can use here is the themes. So if you click here on the themes button, you can change the theme of your header. So for instance, if I click on diplomat, it will be changed. Now from here, I can even change uh, the font. So if I want, want my font, something like that, I can keep that. I can also change the color uh, from here as well. Maybe I like that color, burgundy color, or if you want some other colors, you can also choose from there as well. But for now, we're just keeping it very simple. And once you're done, done with the theme, you can just click on insert to come back to that um, default section again. So that's it for this video. I'll see you in the next one.